If you guys have been paying close attention, you might have noticed I got a dropper seat post for quite some time now. The reason I never talked about it is because I wanted to give you guys an honest review after using it for a good amount of time. I've been using the DNM dropper for 3 whole months now and I should admit I'm thoroughly pleased. It's just so reliable. Every time I approach a descent, boom, it's out of the way. Ever since I got it, trying out new things seems all too easy. If it's going down a flight of stairs or bunny hopping over curves, it gives you that extra boost. Although it's only a hundred mil of travel, for a short guy like me, that's all I need. The build quality is robust, it takes its fair share of beating without breaking a sweat. The cable that comes in the box is meant for your top tube only. I got myself a longer set of cables to pass it down my bottom tube. It looks cleaner that way. However, there was this one problem. The cable kept brushing against the rear wheel when the seat was down. But it's not something a velcro can fix, or a hook and loop, whatever you like to call it. If I had to point out one thing I hated the most about this dropper, it would be the lever. I mean, it works fine and all, but it's just not right. No matter how you put it, it just feels yards away. You need to do some crazy hand gymnastics to get to it. It beats the whole purpose of having a dropper if you can't reach it on time. Other than that, the system works smooth as butter. Just pump it up to the correct air pressure and you are good to go. Not only did I encounter no air burping out while removing the pumper, there was no air leakage whatsoever. So is it the best dropper out there? No, not really. There's no doubt that droppers like RockShox Reverb will outperform it. But if you don't own an internally routed bike and you're on a low budget, there's no doubt that this is the way to go. If you have never used a dropper before, you would not know what big of a difference it makes just being able to slab it out of the way on the descents and have it back up on the pedal sections. Do you own a dropper? If so, which one? Let's have a chat in the comments. I reply to all of them. A lot of effort goes into making of these videos, so please show some love and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'm Rockin from Everything MTB and I'll see you next time.